wonderful people, it's Wild here. This is part one of how to build a fishing hut. Today I'll be showing you how to build the house itself and in part two I'll be showing you how to build a fishing boat to go alongside it and how to decorate both the interior and the exterior for a range of different biomes. Let's get building. For this build, you'll need the materials on your screen now. Keep in mind that you may need a few more spruce logs as some of the stilts extend into the water. Here is the outline for today's build. There's quite a lot going on, so let's break it down. The rectangle at the back of the build or the top of the screen is 11 by 5 blocks and that makes up the main part of the house that's sitting on the land. Then the two white concrete blocks in front of that are where the supports for the rest of the house sits. Then you can see where the concrete powder is, is where we've got bits sticking out of the build. So the boardwalk and the stairs. If we come down here, you can see that there is a three block gap between the wall of this part of the build and these stilts. And then there is a three block gap between these stilts here, as well as these stilts here. This stilt is placed one block away from this one and three blocks away from the house stilt. We also have a stilt sitting one block out in line with here and then we've got a 2x4 rectangle making up the area for the stairs. You can keep in mind that these stilts out here as well as these ones are going to be in the water so you'll need to make some adjustments for the height to fit whatever body of water you're putting your house in. We're going to begin the build working with some strip spruce logs. I'm starting in the back left corner and then I'm counting five. One, two, three, four, five to place one here. So there should be a five block gap. Then I'll place one here, here, and then on each of these um, locations for posts. So there should be three block gaps between each like this. So we've got one high and I'm going to add six more on top for a total of seven blocks. Just like that. Now I'll come forward on these four here and build up three high. One, two, three. Now keep in mind that these are the part of the post that's sticking out of the water. So if your water level is a couple blocks below, you'll need to make sure that you add in some posts for there. So this is the bit that's above water. From here, I'm going to place in two uh, logs on top of this point so this is one away from here and then three on top of here then I'll come over to this part of the rectangle and build up five high one two three four five and you should see there should be three block gaps between these posts now we've got all of our posts and we can start adding in the foundations and for this you'll need stone brick mossy stone brick cracked stone brick and some stone brick stairs I'm using mainly stone brick here with some of the mossy stone brick mixed in and then I'm placing in some of the stairs to add a little bit of texture. I'm randomizing this as I go like this and then I'm filling in just these walls around this back rectangle. I'm not going to bother about randomizing the texture here as I've got a stair going in front of it. So I'll just fill this in with some stone brick. Okay, now I've got all of those blocks in, I'm going to fill in here with some stone bricks to create our platform for the first bit of our walkway. And I'll also build across here to add in our walkway for our floor. So here's what we've got so far. I'm then going to take some more strip spruce logs and one block above the ground here, I'm going to connect these posts. Like that. And then I'm going to connect the rest of these posts up together using some spruce stairs. And they should be facing out like this. On this little connection here where we've got the two high, um, two high post, I'm going to leave that free. But I'll come back to this one here, filling it in at this height. 
This is one block above ground and one below these posts. Once those stairs are in, I can fill in this boardwalk with some more spruce planks. And I'll fill in this one over here as well. And then where we've got this lower level here, I'm going to do this on the half slab and just fill in a rectangle like this. Now I'm going to switch to some mud brick slabs to fill in the floor in the main part of the house. A great idea for decorating is to add a ladder going down here and you can turn this into a really great basement. Now that we've got a good base, we can start adding in our walls. I'm going to start by adding two more posts coming up in the center of these five wide walls on top of the stone brick. Then I'm going to connect these up with some beams. And I need to remember to leave a gap here for the door as well as these two blocks free through a walk through into this section of the build. I'll also come up so I'm three blocks above this beam here and connect all of these posts. Like that. I'll connect the posts on this part of the build as well. And I need to add one more um, post going all the way up to the same height here. So we have this framework ready to put in our walls. For the walls we'll be using some white wool, some calcite and some diorite and some light grey stained glass for the windows. On this wall here we have a too high window and I'll just surround it with our textured blocks. On the back wall we have two windows, both connecting up to this centre post. It's up to you how much of each of these texturised blocks you use. Like this. Now on this wall we have a door, so I'll need to leave a gap for that. Like that, just two blocks high. Now I'm coming inside the build and I'm going to fill in this gap. Like that. And then here I'm going to count two blocks up, leave a gap for an archway, and then just fill in these top two. Like that. Now I need to work on this section. On this wall I'm going to start by building across the bottom and that added my window which is too high as well. And then I'll just fill in the rest of the wall. On this one we're going to have a door and that's going to be up against the centre post. Here we're going to have a window up against the centre post. Like that. And then we're going to have one more window on this side. Like this. Here's how the build's looking so far. And if we look from above, you can see there's two rooms to the bottom story of this build. Now I'm going to grab out some more of these mud brick slabs to fill in the floor here. Now I want to do this on the slab above these windows so that way you can see the whole spruce uh, log above it. I'm also going to leave a one block gap for a ladder. I'm going to have mine in this corner but you can have yours wherever you'd like. Now that we've got that in we can start adding in the walls of the second story. I'm going to build up another four high, one, two, three, four, on top of each of the post locations. And you can see I'm just doing this on this back rectangle. Now I'll start filling in the walls and for that I'm going to add in my windows first. I've got one on this side and I'll fill in around that. You'll see when I do this that I'm going to be one below the height of the post. 
Now coming to the back wall, we're going to have two windows here up against the center post. Like that. And then I'll just fill in the rest of the walls up to this height. Just like that. And on top of these I'll go in with some more strip spruce logs connecting up the posts. You can see the two stories coming together. Next we want to add in our gables. To do this I'm going to start on this front one and I'm going to come to either side of the centre post and build up four high. One, two, three, four. Using our strip spruce logs. Like this. Now in the center, I'm going to build up one block, then place in a diorite stair, followed by a mangrove trapdoor, and another stair, and then I'll place two blocks on top of this. Then I'll come to either side and just build up two blocks with our white materials. So you can see it creates a point. I want to create this same point on this wall, except this time I'm going to leave out the mangrove trapdoor. One, two, three, four. So I'll just fill this all in with the calcite, diorite and white wool. Making sure I come up two blocks above the height, like this. And I'll come on either side to create a triangle. Now on the very back gable, we're going to have another window. So I'll start by building up four high. And then I'll put in some wool, a diorite stair, a mangrove trapdoor, another one placed upside down, and then my two blocks to finish off the top of the gable here. Before we add in the roof, I'm going to add in a few more strip spruce logs. I'm going to have three coming out the front like this. Then I'll come have them coming out of the joins in the posts and beams around the top story, as well as one here and one here. On the gable I have three across the back. And then on the front I'll just have one on either side, leaving out the metal one. For the roof you'll need mangrove block uh, planks, stairs and slabs, and mud brick block stairs and slabs. I'm going to start on this lower gable creating an edge. I'll place a mud brick stair. Then I'll place a block and a stair. Another block and a stair. And I'll do this right up to the top and finish with two blocks. And I'll come back up the other side. Now coming underneath I'll place in some stairs. And leave this centre free. I'll also place a slab here and here, like that. Now I'll work on this left side first. I'm going to build across another four blocks, one, two, three, four, and this should bring me to this log. I'll place two slabs like this, leaving a gap in between. Now I'm going to switch to some mangrove to fill in this part of the roof, just going up with blocks and stairs. Once you reach the top, add a row of planks and then a row of slabs. Now I'll rotate round to the right hand side and do the same thing. That's the first roof finished. For this next roof, we're going to start off the same way by creating an edge, starting with a stair, block stair and building up like this with two blocks at the top and I'll do this on both sides as well as both of the gables. And don't forget to come underneath and place in some stairs like this.
Then I'll connect these up and add some slabs underneath. And now you can fill in the rest of this roof with some mangrove. If you're enjoying today's video and would like to see more like this one, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. It really helps me out and you get to learn lots about building. There we go, we've got these two gable roofs finished. Next we're going to move on and work on this entryway. I'm going to start by coming one block up from above this ground level here and placing in some trapdoors. Next I'm going to create an archway using some spruce stairs and then a slab connecting these. Now at the front here we want to create a miniature gable so I'll build up three blocks, one, two, three. And then I'll fill in these points with some more of these white blocks. I'll also connect this up to the wall. So we should have a base like this. Now we're going to work on the roof for this section. I'm going to start by building along this side. So this is the back side of the build with my mud brick stairs. And then I'm just going to work my way up, creating a nice edge. I'm going to leave this center block free and then I'm going to come up on the other side. But for this I'm just building across two here and then coming up. Once I reach the top I'll add a slab leaving this block clear. Now I want to create a little section to come out this way so I'll build out two slabs from this stair and then I'm going to come up a couple slabs. Now to do this you'll need to break and place some slabs until it connects up to the stair just like that. Now underneath I'll place in a slab here and here and then we can get filling in with some mangrove. Now for this bit of the roof I'm just going to build straight across. Here it gets a little bit more complicated but I'm just using slabs to fill it in. And you want to make sure everything kind of wraps around and connects up nicely. It should look like that. One thing you do want to do here is come underneath and place in a mangrove slab on these two blocks. That way you can see some of the mangrove from underneath. It's time to start adding in the all important details. Starting with some stripped mangrove logs, I'm going to build out three from this gable here. Then place a grindstone underneath and build three down with some chains. I'll come in with some mangrove fences and place in two here. And then I'm going to create a bucket using some spruce trapdoors. I want to create a similar de design to this on the taller gable. So I'm building out three and then I'm just going to place in some fences coming out two blocks as well as on this side. Sorry about these blocks not rendering in. They are there and they should render in soon. Ah, there we go. Now I'm going to come down to this smaller gable here and just build out two blocks. And then I'm going to place in one mangrove fence below it like this. Next I'm going to switch to some more mangrove fences to add in a railing here. I'm going to place one block here. And then I'm going to create a railing around this little deck section. Over on the larger board wart, I'll fill in here. As well as two blocks from here. Like that. I then want to place some mud brick slabs on top of each of these posts. And on these two posts here, I'm going to place in a wall with a fence on top. Like this. On top of these little posts that we've just made, I'm going to go in with some mangrove slabs. And I'm going to create um, a little wavy textured canopy here. We've got slab, trapdoor, slab, trapdoor, slab. Like that. 
Using some more of these trapdoors, I'm going to decorate this boardwalk. And I'll place some here as well. And then I want to extend the end of the boardwalk. I'll go out with some slabs first, and then some spruce trapdoors. Now I'll use some more spruce trapdoors to decorate the body of the build. Just placing them on these joins here. Now keep in mind that we've got the staircase connecting there, so I won't place one there, but I will place one here and add some more mangrove trapdoors to this boardwalk. Really starting to come together. I'm going to be placing stone buttons on each of the logs that face outwards. Of course you can't place them on these two here, but I can put them on the second story ones. And then I want to connect these up with some spruce fences. I'll also place one underneath here like this. So that's all of those points covered. I'm also going to add a trapdoor underneath here and here and hang a lantern from this point. I'm going to place some more lanterns here. I'm going to place one underneath this canopy and one on this fence. While I'm here I'll place in some doors and I'm using mangrove doors. They have a really cool looking texture. And I might even place one hanging in here. Now of course you can finish off the inside of here with some stairs if you'd like. I like to keep it nice and high. You could even put some hidden storage in here. Now I'm going to grab some light grey banners and these have a window shutter texture on them. Make sure you check out my banner tutorial if you'd like to see how to make these. And I'm going to place these on each of the windows. I think we've got all of those covered. Now I want to build up a little walkway, so I'm going to start by placing in some stone bricks here and here, and then some logs. These ones are going to face outwards, and these ones will face upwards. I'm going to place a slab on top of here, and add in my stairs. I'm going to use some mangrove trapdoors to decorate. The last big thing you'll need to do to build your house is to add some greenery. Now I've gone with mangrove leaves because I've placed my fishing hut in a mangrove biome and I've draped these over the roof and I've placed some vines growing up the sides of the walls. This helps break up the white and tie the whole build together because you have the greenery going from the top right through to the bottom. Make sure you check out part 2 of the tutorial to see how to build this fishing boat and how to decorate your fishing hut in a range of biomes, both the interior and the exterior. I hope you enjoyed part 1 of this fishing hut tutorial. If you did, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.